we go to our main objective which is to perform the experiment you look at the procedures up here you may refer to your lab menu so the first one use appropriate instrument to perform steps a to f record all your measurement in appropriate table and determine the uncertainty and the percentage of uncertainty for each set of readings so in this experiment you are going to measure for single reading and for repeated readings for the single reading you have to measure the length of the metal rod a b the length and width of laboratory manual c the mass of ball bearing next measurement for the repeated readings you have to measure D, the diameter of the ball bearing, E, the diameter of the coin, and F, the external diameter of the glass rod. Okay? And to just check with you, so for the length of a metal rod, you can measure by using the meter rule. And remember, the uncertainty or the smallest scale for the meter rule is plus minus 0.1 cm. Okay, next, for the length and width of a laboratory book, you are going to measure with the meter rule and the uncertainty for the meter rule is plus minus 0.1 cm. And last one, for the single reading, you are going to measure the mass of a ball bearing and you will use the electronic balance and the uncertainty is plus minus 0.1 gram. So, for the single reading, you will state your reading in form of x plus minus with the ascendancy of the smallest scale of that measuring instrument. Okay, for the repeated readings, you are going to measure diameter of a ball bearing using by using the vernier caliper. The uncertainty or the smallest scale for the vernier calipers is plus minus 0.01 cm. Next, for the diameter of a coin and also the external diameter of a glass rod, we will use the micrometer screw gauge. And the uncertainty for it is plus minus 0.01 mm. Now, I'm showing you the apparatus that are going to be used in this experiment. First, the rule. Second, vernier calipers. Third, micrometer screw gauge. Fourth, traveling microscope. And fifth, electronic balance. Next, the material that we are going to measure are the coin, 20 cents, the glass rod, the capillary tube, and ball bearing. Okay, now we are going to measure the glass rod. You place the glass rod on the meter rule, and then you read the first reading that is 1 cm, and the second reading is 16.5 cm. Okay, so the length of the glass rod is 16.5 minus 1, which is 15.5 cm. Next, we are going to measure the length and the width of the lab manual. So the length of the lab manual is 25.5 cm and the width of the lab manual is 18 cm. Okay, now we are going to measure the mass of ball bearing. First, you switch on the electronic balance. Then, you place the plasticine onto the lid of the electronic balance then you press the tear button and wait until the reading is 0, 0.00 after that put the ball bearing and take the reading the reading is 14.07 gram okay we are done with the single reading now 
we are going to perform the experiment for the repeated reading. Here is how you are going to measure the diameter of a ball bearing using micrometer screw gauge. Before that, let me explain how to get the average value and the uncertainty for these repeated readings. So you have to calculate the average value like this equation. A plus B plus C plus D plus E and plus F for the readings and divide by how many readings you have taken. So in this case, it is 6. Next, the uncertainty. So in order to calculate the uncertainty of X, so you have to minus the average value with the respected data or the respected reading. Okay, so you have to minus each one and sum all together and divide by the total number of reading. Okay, so let's look at the experiment. Now, we are going to measure the diameter of the ball bearing using the micrometer screw gauge. First thing first, you should make sure the micrometer screw gauge has no zero error, like this. Now, you put the ball bearing to this micrometer screw gauge. Make sure it tight until a thick sound can be heard. The reading is 15.65 mm. So, in this experiment, for example, I have a few readings up here. So, first one, I have to get the average value. So, I have to total up all this and divide by 5. So, my average reading is 12.98 millimeters. To calculate the delta L, so I minus with the average which is 12.98 minus with 13 and since it is modulus, so it's going to be positive value for all the value here. So the 0 0.02 for the first reading, 0 0.04 for the second reading, 0 0.02 for the third reading, 0 0.02 for the fourth reading, and the fifth reading is same as 0 0.02. So by applying this formula, so you will calculate the delta L. Next is measuring coins using the vernier calipers. Let's look at the video. Okay, next we are going to use vernier calipers to measure the diameter of the coin. Firstly, you have to make sure your vernier calipers has no zero error. Okay, now I'm going to choose the below part to measure the diameter of this coin. Make sure it's tight. Okay, then you can take the reading. And here the reading is 2.36 cm. Then we go to the next experiment which is you are going to use the traveling microscope. So here it is. Now I'm going to show you how to measure the internal diameter of the capillary tube by using the traveling microscope. Okay, first you put the capillary tube below the microscope and make sure it is perpendicular to the microscope. Then the reading is taken after we adjust the microscope. Okay, now, this is your task. Please calculate the following derived quantities and its uncertainties. So, the first one, you have to calculate the parameter of laboratory manual and also the circumference of the coins. If you come across with some difficulties, you may refer to the link given for more guidance. Or you may find in this 
description below. Okay, next, you have to calculate the surface area of the ball bearing. And next, the volume of ball bearing. And last one is the density of the ball bearing. You may refer to the link given or you just go to the YouTube link and you can get more guidance through it. All the best and good luck!